What's going on, y'all, YouTube? This is the Dark Lord Destro making another video. Um, I've had the Xbox uh, 3, I'm sorry, Xbox One for about three months now. I haven't really played it because I've been focusing on SFL and All Pro Football. And so, uh, when I picked up Destiny two weeks ago from Toys R Us, I had a special for 1999 for the game. Uh, I used to have it for the 360, but a friend of mine wanted to play it and I went ahead and sold it to him. And, Lost interest planned, and all of a sudden I was like, well, you know what? I don't know. Let me go and get the Xbox uh, One version. Then I was about to buy it online, but it went in full price. It went on eBay and sold it. Toys R Us was ha selling it for nineteen ninety nine, so I went ahead, and picked it up, and started playing again. And so, uh, you know, figured I might as well go ahead and get the game. I mean, I've already purchased the expansion pass, uh, part one and two, back in December, and I figured it'd be a waste of time and. Especially since that House of Wolf thing is coming up. Well, it's already out, so I went ahead and said, well, let's go ahead and play it. So, you know, just by looking at some of the, you know, the graphics in the game, you can tell there's, a, you know, improvement, obviously, with the 360 version. Um, this screen right here where you see the, you know, where the, the ship is hovering over the earth or what have you, you know, it's a... Uh, that, that screen doesn't take as long to load as it did on the 360. And obviously, if you, you know, look at it, it's a little sharper than the 360 version for obvious reasons. So, do a little mission here, you know, nothing fancy, just going in here, and, you know, taking out a few monsters. You know how that goes. He's already taken all the 360 version. You probably had to wait maybe another 25, 35 the seconds, and then it will go. continue to claw up this scene right here. I think it's a little bit them. faster, too. Maybe that's just me. That's Bring what the scenes of a like. cosmic room. I wish I had a side by side comparison, but I don't want to have a 360 the version. And the high uh, to show you that. Their strength. We must destroy this machine god and send their souls screaming back to hell. Of course, I'm on a strike mission, so that's why I have two other people uh, rolling with me. You know, I'm not going to do the whole mission, but uh, you know, basically... Actually, I did finish the whole mission. I didn't have to record the whole thing. I just wanted to show you know, the graphics, the detail, my opinions about it. Uh, like I was saying, you know, you see a video came from the Xbox One. Uh, like I said, I've had it for three, three months, and I still put a 360 for the all pro and SFL, so you know, the time to the horizon, so to speak. I started having, taking videos about more games. Look at my channel. I primarily focus on all pro football 2K8, and the roster updates, roster creation. Uh, tutorials or SFL, and I figure, okay, it's now now it's time to start you know, broadening my horizons and start playing uh, other games and also making videos about other games. As you can see, the crab is there. It's made it pretty nice, you know. I, uh, you can tell the little small little details between uh, 360 version and Xbox One version. And the good thing about it was that, you know, I was able, all my character, my character was able to transfer over. It wasn't anything about, you know, I'd have to do anything special. Um, what is great is that you can jump back and forth. If you have both versions, if you have a 360 and Xbox One version, you can jump back and forth. So let's say you've got some partners that you want to play with 360, no problem. You can go to 360, load the game up, don't do anything fancy, just load the game up and play with them. You want to jump back on Xbox One and play, play for crew there? No problem. Your progress, it doesn't matter if you're on 360 or Xbox One. What you do on one is going to carry over to the other and vice versa. And that was smart. The only thing I would say bad about uh, 
you know, you know this game is it's a base it's a grind but you know you do gotta put in your work and your know, diligence and it's uh yeah it's uh it's time to you know it's, it has its moments and like I said right now you play it you know, I didn't walk away for about a month or two because like you said, it was a grind fest, and I felt no progress. I didn't see any progression in the game. I was stuck at level 26 for like a few months, and it seemed like I couldn't get ahead. So then I took an Xbox One, and for some strange reason, now I'm starting to level up. Go figure. Fallen Empire. Let's hope we can avoid the crossfire. Go into this respawning area now. You know, once you go into this area, you're playing with some partners. If you die, you can't, re you know, you can't, uh, it's just a lot of time for you to respawn, like 30 seconds, so, you know, the big part is, you know, it's a team effort, so if that's how you get down, and then one of your partners will come over and revive you, and you're going, you're going to, you go to the mission by yourself, it's a pain because once you die, there's nobody available to, uh, you know, bring you back to life, but, you know, you gotta start the mission all over, like, from that point that you walk into that, Responding. Again, it is what it is. You know, when it first came out, you know, we had a demo back last summer, and it was great. And, you know, this is the first game that I've spent, you know, full price on. You know, when it first came out, I haven't done that in seven years since all pro football 2K8. Most of the time, I go to pawn shop, eBay, and Craigslist get my games. I'm shocked for the. Actually, I wasn't shy. I was like, you know, this game could be good. The uh, price is brand new. But those things are a pain. There's little flying little lizards, sorcerers, whatever you want to call them. They're just a pain to do. Those things too. I'm blasting them in his head. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, something. And, you know, this game's, you know, like, to me, this game is like, you know, you had a long period of time. You know, we don't feel like we're going to go in the game, bust some cash with some monsters, but not. This is the game, this is the game that you need to play. We're here just taking some monsters out. And, uh, I got the golden gun. You know, actually, I forgot to get power up charge. The bottom left hand side is pretty much the game of Once it reaches, you know, hit the little bumper button, then you take the little hawk up and then you go to shoot to the powerful shot and you get three bullets. I call it the gold knot, golden gun, similar to the game Golden Eye back on you know, Nintendo 64. You know. Pretty complex. I'll need time. But they need to be slick when they try to, you know, snipers from the distance trying to hit you. To me, I always aim, aim for the head. I you know, chase them out a lot faster. And anytime you see, like, you see as I'm shooting them, you see their numbers decrease, man. You see them, you know, most of the time they're in white. Uh, you see him in yellow, and then you shot him in the head. And of course, when you shoot him in the head, you see him kind of in the flash. And you know, cross him in the head, because it kind of represents a headshot. I am, uh, I do play against other players on here, and I'm not that good. I, I get tore from the floor up. I'm not that good. That's it's all good. This game's fun. About it. Things play out a little bit. Catch y'all later. Peace.
getting smarter. It's like the entire system is wired to it. I'll work faster. Just so you know.